this sits within your tool carousel and it can pick up small parts within the machine environment and pick and place them into a pneumatic or hydra hydraulic course. That's essentially what it does. Hello and welcome to today's MTD CNC Tech Corner. Today I'm joined by Mark Hyde from MPS and we're going to talk through some of the products he sells from Jurgens. But first, Mark, tell us about you. Where did it all begin? Yeah, so I spent a bit of time in the hard machine materials, very difficult to make parts, aerospace defence industry. Uh, my background predominantly has been in mill, and mill turn, if, if uh, that's a story to tell. Um, five axis machining, Katia, NX, you name it, every CAD CAM system you can think of. Uh, so yeah, I've got a really good strong background and over the last 10 to 15 years it's been very much in the work holding and fixturing side of, uh, or are predominantly in the work holding and fixturing side of the industry. Well I think if anyone's been on LinkedIn in the last 5 or 10 years, they, were, they will have seen you and seen what you do and <laughs> me somewhere. you've done some really, really impressive machining. So you do come from a machining background. Yes. So talking through MPS, because this is a whole new journey. It is. So MPS is part of the Brandon Homes group. So as you already know, Brandon Homes have expanded a little over the last uh, 12 months. Um, and they've tried to focus companies now in very specific um, product groups or areas. So MPS is under that group and we very much are standard work holding. So it's off the shelf products that we can customize, but the focus is you can buy it off the shelf. It's available. It's next day delivery. That's kind of its core business. Now you brought a selection of them products because you told me earlier about the number of products you do, and I honestly don't think we have a big enough table or room to fit everything in. So I'm glad you've just brought a selection. Yeah. So first off, should we start with the vice on the end? Because this is something a few people may not have seen before. No. So Jurgens, um, just last year, they, they brought out the initial version of this as in a, a taster to the market. Let's see what the feel's like. Um, so Jurgens already doing a hydraulic version of this vice. This is now the pneumatic version of this. Um, it's fundamentally the same thing. Obviously one operates on fluid, one operates on air, uh, but now they've, they've sort of redesigned it, redeveloped it, and it's ready to go. It's available for market. And what's been the, the customers who have had this and seen this, what's been their reaction to it? Are they liking it? Is it gonna go well? I think so. Um, the key draw to this is it adopts the quick change draw facility that we've got in the manual vices that we do. And that's going to save people time, it's going to save people money, and we bang on about it, we're going to have to mention it, the skill gap, it's going to help with that because you can have one guy set that machine up where you would need normally somebody stood in front of it, changing jaws, changing, all done by robots. It's, yeah. it's yeah. Gonna... It almost means that you don't have to change the voice, the voice stays in place. It's the, the jaws and then the product changes with it. So there's a bit of flexibility in it. It's also going to be a lot easier to keep your datum. If your vice is never moving, it's just your vice. Yeah. Your datum is going to stay the same. Yeah. Now, let's move on. Now, I've never seen this before, so <laughs> I'm quite interested. We, so, we spoke about it a, a little bit earlier, and it, it seems like it should be everybody's first taste of automation. So tell me through it. Uh, it's, it's called the MTS. So it's basically the entry version into automation but a very, very impressive product. So we do a, a, an, an air operated version and we do a coolant operated version, depending on whether or not you've got through spindle air on your, uh, on your machines. Uh, and the idea being is it, this sits within your tool carousel and it can pick up small parts within the machine environment and pick and place them into a pneumatic or hydra hydraulic course. That's essentially what it does. Um, so it's almost like a mini robot without the robot. And again, I. I think the, the biggest thing is that as soon as you say automation to somebody, they think this is going to cost me a fortune when obviously it doesn't have to be. No. And it, to me, that just seems like a really good first step for anybody who wants to try lights out running before, like you said, they go on to robots and cobots and something coming your way soon. But we'll talk about that in a later in a video. video yeah. Now, next on the table, I'm going to leave this one with you. Zero points. Um, so obviously everyone's heard about zero point before. Oh. Um, again, this is a sort of <clears throat> a variation on everybody else's zero points that are available on the market. So again, we do pneumatic and hydraulically actuated versions. We do blow off ones, so they clear the plate beforehand. Um, yeah, there's nothing much exciting to sort of <laughs> anything new versus what other people offer, um, but we have it as part of our product range. So we can mix that in with the standard products that we have to give a, a sort of a total solution to a customer. Essentially a one-stop shop. People yeah. can come to you for everything instead of 
you'll go into some shops and they'll have uh, this piece from them, this piece from here, this piece from here, which is usually quite overcomplicated because the, when you're doing some of the, fun, let's call it funky things you do in a machine shop at some times, that doesn't fit there and it's just going to be a bit of a nightmare. Yeah. So this just helps keep everything standardised. Yeah, and the, and the support side is a big factor. I know myself from past experiences, you know, if you've got to go to multiple places for various bits and pieces, you've got to get support from different places. And whilst the support's there from all of the different companies that do these sorts of products, being able to go to one place and have one set of people you're dealing with makes life a whole lot easier. You make one phone call or one email. And, and it, it, it starts with that sort of partnership as well because you're only talking to one person you get really friendly with that one person and your relationship grows which means you get help and support whenever you need it so now there's one more piece on this table and i've left it to last on purpose because i have no idea what it is <laughs> i really but it looks really fascinating so i'm hoping to learn something here mark so tell me about this so this product is ball lock so ball lock um, is a patented design by jurgens um, it's incredibly simple and I'm frustrated that I have not known about it beforehand because it would have saved me hours, weeks, years <laughs> of misery of trying to work out how to hold things and shift things around. But essentially it's, um, it's, a, it's a simplified version of zero point essentially. Um, you've got two sleeves inside a, a base plate, you have two further liners in the plate that you're locating on the top and you have two fixings that hold in. Repeats within 12 microns every time, all day, every day. Um, we do uh, ball lock sleeves that are as small as 13 mil diameter, so you can have really, really small versions, and they do one, I think it's a 100 mil version, is it? So you can get some pretty chinky stuff. And the real benefit of it is it's not just for mills. So more recently, we've done applications where they're on the faces of lathes. So wow. we've turned the spindle taper into the back of a machine plate, <laughs> put ball lock fixings in the front of it, and you can make fixtures to the face of your lathe. There's obviously other ways of doing that, but this it just it's a, the adaptivity, and you can then take that same fixture plate and go and stick it on your mill and locate so it. It's with adaptable the same to your so you whole just, machine exactly. shop. Yeah, and it, and it's so simple to use. It takes ten seconds to change over. And I like in that entire description was your complete honesty at the start of that on how much time oh, good, yeah. and effort. Because the one thing I do want to get across just before we finish this interview is is obviously your background, what you've done. You've been there, you've done it, you've had the problems, you've solved the problems. So having these solutions and having you behind them is really going to help customers who were having them problems before. And they go, oh, wait a minute, I've had that. But if I'd ever had the roll lock, the ball lock system, like you said, you wouldn't have had them problems no. it had been sorted. So. Yeah. Being able to apply that to other customers' problems. You know, there's not many things I haven't seen, but... There's, yeah, there's there's always an opportunity where I can fix somebody else's issue. So Mark, if there's anything on this table or even any of the information you've got over during this interview that somebody at home would like to know more about, then how can they get in contact with you? I'd say the first port of call will be the website, um, which can be found at www.mps-online.co.uk. It's got the full range of products on there. You can buy online if you want to. All the contact details are there, including email, which everything gets sent to me eventually. So it ends up in my inbox somewhere uh, or there's a contact form on there as well. Well, Mark, from me and everybody here at MTD Cincy, thank you for your time today. No problem.